Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to work with the prefabs. We opened the simple scene. Now I show how to create uh, a new prefab from uh, objects inside the scene. First select objects uh, we want to put uh, inside the, the prefab. In the prefabs uh, browser click right button or the mouse and select new file from scene. Click on the select from scene button to pick all objects just selected. Now we can place our prefab uh, by dragging it into the scene. Clicking on uh, inspect uh, button we can view the prefab inside the prefab viewport and change some settings using prefab editor. In this case the prefab is composed by uh, more than one object. We can show colliders of prefab and uh, add one more shape to the base collider. We can add uh, spherical or boxed uh, collision shape. We can rotate, translate or scale every shape. Now we can save the modified uh, prefab and replace it into the scene. We can show colli colliders into the scene viewing the new shapes added to the prefab. Now I show how to create a new prefab from scratch. Choose add new file and select uh, a class which the prefab object must belong to. In our case uh, I choose light class. Now we inspect uh, the prefab um, and um, change light settings and finally we uh, save the modified Prefer. 
Now we can place the light inside the scene. And also change the light settings inside the scene. Take in mind these settings. Don't change the settings of the prefab, but only the settings of the object inside the scene. By clicking on the class tab, you see the light properties. You can edit them here. To save uh, these settings inside uh, the prefab, you must choose refresh, but uh, we can show these uh, just later. There's another way uh, for creating uh, an object uh, from scratch. Select uh, the class tab and push create button. Then select uh, the class the object uh, we want to create uh, must belong to. In our case we choose uh, light class. Click inside the scene to place uh, the object. We can edit the light properties inside the scene and then we can replace these settings into the prefab by choosing refresh on the drop down menu of the prefab inside the prefab browser. There is another way to place objects inside the scene. We call uh, uh, this method the multiple insert. Choose the object you want to place inside the scene, click on multiple insert and then click inside the scene repeatedly. In our case uh, we insert physical wheels inside the scene. See the results.